Hey everyone. So I'm going to take a minute here to explain what you need to do for the week 10 discussion. Um, the discussion this week is titled The Rhetorical Situation of Workplace Writing. And your question is this. Think back to everything we have learned about the rhetorical situation. And we go back to the very beginning of the course. Week two, I believe. Topic, angle, purpose, audience, and voice and tone. While we have come to understand why it's also important to consider those elements when we're writing paragraphs and essays for a class, I want you to think about why might the rhetorical situation be equally important when it comes to various types of workplace writing. Chances are you're not going to be writing essays on the job. Uh, but think beyond just essays and assignments. Do you think it's important for people to have proficient writing skills in the workplace? Why or why not? And why is that rhetorical situation important? Why is it important to be crystal clear about your topic? Why is it important to have uh, an angle? Why is it important to be very clear in your purpose for whatever it is you're writing? Why is it important to consider your audience when you're writing? Why is it important to consider what kind of t voice and tone are appropriate for whatever it is you're writing? And whatever it is you're writing could be, uh, you know, charting stuff, leaving notes for the next shift, writing an email to someone, giving instructions to a patient or a patient's family, writing a resume, writing a cover letter, any type of written communication. Um, you know, again, you're not writing essays, but if you write an email to someone, that's probably at least one paragraph, right? Maybe two. <laughs> um, writing, you know, anything is, is, you don't have to think of it as something as so formal as an assignment for a class. But how can you take what we've learned in this class and apply it to situations that you might find yourself having to communicate in written form. And again, resumes, cover letters, emails, anything, anything that's written. <laughs> How does that rhetorical situation play into that type of writing in the workplace? And why do you, do you think it's important to have proficient writing skills and why or why not? Right? Um, try to give me, you know, eight to ten sentences here. Right? Really think about this. Again, take yourself out of academics. Why are you learning this stuff in an academic setting where you're taking classes to prepare you for that career that you're striving for? Why is this class a part of your program? How can you take the skills and concepts from basic composition? How will they help you? How will they affect how you communicate in written form in the workplace? Okay. Try to have your uh, first post up by Thursday night. Don't forget to respond to two classmates before the discussion closes Sunday night. This is our last one, okay? Um, and I look forward to reading your final posts. If you have any questions or run into any technical difficulties with the discussion, please let me know.